the hell's he doing to me? Fire! Fire! Freddy Fergus, please come urgently! Huh? What, 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 what's wrong, Srini? A tragedy is becoming. The assay office is aflame. She is burning with a might most severe. The pharmacy may be next to lighted. Get dressed as soon as possible. I am dressed. I, I don't have any pajamas. Take mine. No, wait. There is no time to perform such an effort. Just hurry and scheme in such a way as to extinguish the most threatening fire. All right. Uh, I think he walks off. Of course. I think I, I think I know exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, say yeah, yeah. You probably should save it. I will. Uh, let's save a new one. After all this time. Fire! Fire! The fire in the kitchen! <laughs> oh, the heat. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Hey, you get to see the town at night for the first time. Mind the store, Srini. I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. Okie the dokie. Alright. Ooh. Oh, shit. The old abandoned assay office is ablaze, threatening to burn down not only itself and your pharmacy, but the whole town. <laughs> I remember that. You try to get close enough to throw it, but are forced back by the extreme heat and accomplish nothing but a large white splat on the ground. Damn it! Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, you know what? Save that save now. Just because... I want to make sure is that you can again Fire! you're on another time limit so just in case okay uh, uh how are you gonna get all that baking soda over there uh uh you can't get very close think of anything to say to that Gotta get creative. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. Uh oh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make this. Uh oh. Well, look around. Uh, what can you do? Oh. Oh. You can't just, I mean, you need enough, you need enough momentum I, to be able to pull that one off. Uh, All right, good, good. Here we go. You gotta click on yourself as you're going forward each time to get yourself. Oh, not enough momentum. Damn it! Also, you, oh. Yep, Freddy went, fell down, went boom. It were a sad day. We found them all squished and not really living night anymore. Yeah. Of course, we had our own problems to deal with all of a sudden, like, that's about when the town of Course Gold ceased to exist, as we'd done known it. But then, that's another story, boys and girls. I got to be alone with my thoughts for a while. <sighs> so you're on the right track. Yeah. Also, I think you have to put it on the other side. I think that actually matters. Really? I think. Yeah, 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 okay. So, you click the side of the building. You want to click the roof. And you also want to make sure you're going hot fast enough first. No, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a tough one. I was trying to click him. Yeah. yeah. You know what? This time, I guess just maybe... Maybe you will get fast enough. Or, or I think you just have to do it on the forward swing. Good thing we saved it there. Okay, I think, I, yeah, I know what to do. Okay. So, yeah, one click, <laughs> one click on yourself, then the roof. Nope. No, okay, you're gonna need. Oh, God. How okay. the fuck? Gonna need more. 
speed. It's just gonna have to be real careful. Uh, clicking. I'll click him three times as he swings forward. Then select the roof. That's what it is. Okay, so you got it. Let's get real serious. Yeah. Okay. All right. What? What? You're on the back. You got to get him on the way forward. Two. Oop, he right clicked. God damn it! Three. Now on the forward swing. Nice. Here we go. Look at you. What pluck? What prowess? What a ridiculous solution. Still, you thought of it. You single-handedly quenched the flames of the assay office by using the seesaw as a catapult for the baking soda. Too bad nobody was here to see it. They'll never believe you in the morning. Well, time to get to bed. Another crisis averted. I never really walked around at night. That I can remember. Can I go and... Is the... They're probably all out. Oh, wait! What about the, the saloon is open. Saloon? Yeah, he said it's 24 hours. That's right. You can tell them all about what a hero you are now. Every time you click, he's like getting hung up. There we go. Weird. Jesus Christ. Still there. There's nobody left. Nope. The fire's out at the assay office, Sam. You can stop panicking. Oh, yes. The fire at the assay office. I was all in a tizzy for a while there. <laughs> okay. Uh... <coughs> Doc, what do you do when you're awake and you can't get back to sleep? I conduct an experiment. I attempt to find out how many shots of whiskey it takes to get to the center of a liver condition. Uh, all right. I guess it's not much else. Yeah. I guess I'll try to go back to bed now. Yeah. Go to sleep. Go talk to Srini at least. Oh, he's probably still worried. Although, to be fair, he ran in in a hurry, screaming about a fire. But when we left, he was fine. Yeah, he was just stocking shelves. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. You return. Yep. He's good to be. Yeah, okay, same stuff. I missed you, too. Fire's out, but I don't feel like sleeping. Oh, right. Yes, too much excitement for Freddy. You'll be overtired tomorrow morning. I hate it when that happens. Try to relax and reduce stress. Visit friends. Well, it's midnight. What kind of friends can I visit this time of night? Indeed, that is a question you have well asked. That's right. Because there is another place you can go at this hour. Ant Hill. Mind the store. Okie dokie. The shitter? No. Can't be the schoolhouse. Some place you haven't really been to very much yet. Oh. 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 <laughs> I mean, uh, sleepless late nights call for late night activities. <laughs> Where's the entrance? Uh, one screen over and down. Dun, 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 dun. There we are. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa! Boss is upset, he said. Yep, oh. something's gotta be done about it because of all that you've been doing. Absolutely. Now let's get down to business. Uh, what is the best way to get rid of our little problem uh, permanently? How about hanging? No, too quick and merciless. Poison? Nah, too unsure. Ancient Egyptian dagger? Got an itch? Yep. I can't find mine. You got yours handy? Not at the moment. Don't matter how we do it, so long as we do it soon. 
We don't want no proof it was us, us neither. Nothing to connect you to the boss. Excellent thought. And the boss has arranged for a bit of muscle to come in and make sure the entire town's cleaned out PDQ. We'll be rid of that do-gooder and all his flea-bitten friends in no time. They laugh cruelly, then sit back and reflect on their van their ability. <laughs> Let's go talk to them. Yeah. This is, this is great, I'm sure. Am I interrupting anything? <laughs> Why, of course not, Mr. Farkas. We were just talking about you. The sheriff surreptitiously elbows Phineas in the ribs. Oh, that is, we were simply chatting after an invigorating workout. Uh, Sheriff, you know about the fire down at the assay office? A fire? No. You don't say. That's dreadful. Why, if and I'm not mistaken, a fire could wipe out most of Main Street and say it'd take your pharmacy right up along with it. I hates to contemplate it. Snort and giggle like a couple of school children. In other words, it's pretty excellent. Yeah. God damn it. Fuck! Ah! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, hello. You. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Bye. Ah. Translation. How much do you charge anyway? Bah. Translation. I'm sheep at twice the price. <laughs> Bye. 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 Translation. Sounds like a deal. Bah. Translation. Yes. It costs next to mutton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something on the table you can grab? There's a thing here. Oh, a stack of naughty French postcards sits on the coffee table in order to titillate some of the less forward customers. Score. Snatch the French postcards. There's no reason to move the coffee table. You prefer sarsaparilla, thank you very much. And a cracked, dirty bottle. Oh! Whoa! Wow, chastity! You sure know how to kiss. All in a day's work, Freddy. All in a day's work. You're such a handsome man. Girls like me really go for men like you. I hope you mean it. Just going around touching everybody? I mean, I want to see what my options are. The touch of your many hands and the sight of your bulging muscles really brings out the raw animal passion in me. What she really means is the sight of your manly bulging wallet really brings out the raw animal passion in her. Oh no, I don't have any money. <laughs> Actually, I should probably talk to them, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I just touch them and leave? <laughs> well, howdy, chastity. How, how do you, you big old slumpy, hunky, manly, macho, woman-loving man? Laying it on a little thick tonight, aren't we? Yeah, business is slow, but I gotta keep in practice. Evening, Purity. Evening, Freddy. Has Madam still got you under lock and key, or are you going to let us uh, get a hold of you one of these days? I'm afraid I'm all hers for the time being. Well, if you ever change your mind, honey, you know where to find us. And when and how often and for how much? Uh, where'd, she, where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. <laughs> Howdy, Miss Virtue. You sure are a vision of loveliness. Thank you ever so much, Freddy. And you, sir, are a study and buff. What does that mean? Just to hear the manliest prescription for the man I ever did see. Well, thank you. All right. Uh, oh, 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 hey. There she is. <clears throat> hey, big boy. It's about time you showed up. Ta shall we take that pharmacy bill out and trade? Mm, sure. Then come over here, sweet. Uh, before I have to come get you, sweetie. Oh. Hey. Dun, dun. Oh, yeah. Sa. Oh. Freddy, I, I think you should leave. <laughs> you mean, you mean because yeah. I'm just using you for cheap, tawdry pleasure and my heart really belongs to Penelope Prim? 
The gorgeous, young, and obviously more virtuous schoolmar. What? Who? Oh, oh, nothing. Uh, never mind. What were you saying? Oh, I was just saying I think you should leave. That is, leave town. There's, oh my, there's just no good way to say this. The girls have said that the sheriff and the bank are talking their sleep. They hate you, Freddy. They want you dead. They're out to get you. It was something about you foiling the plan and how they had to get you out of the way. You have to run, Freddy. You have to get out of town by sundown. Well, now don't you worry, Sadie. I've been doing a pretty good job up till now using just my wits and my pharmacological knowledge, haven't I? I'm not going to just turn tail and run and leave you and Penelope and Corsgold behind me to fend for yourselves. You're not listening to me, Freddy Farkas. There's men are coming. Men with guns. Big guns. Guns with long barrels. Long, hard barrels. Long, hard, steely barrels. It's low slung holsters. And, and... Sadie! Snap out of it! Oh, sorry, I was just visualizing. Anyway, you're not going to be able to outthink your way out of men with guns. If you're set on staying in town, you'll have to, you know, take up gunslinging again. That's out of the question. I left all that behind me years ago. I'm just not that kind of boy anymore, and I don't want to discuss it. Stop it. You've got, no ch you've got a choice, and that's all there is to it. You either leave town and save your hide, or you pull yourself together and face reality. Quit your talking about potions and liniments. They're not going to stop no bullets. It's time to get off of your cute little butt and give these men a taste of old frontier justice. Now, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Hold me, Sadie. Press me to your ample bosom and let me decide tomorrow. Kay. Aw. Yeah. You, uh, you got to become a gunslinger again. Yeah! That's the one thing I didn't want. Act three begins tomorrow, everybody. Guns and neuroses. Make sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>